fire don't let you on that very special night. But you came into my life. My savior. You saved me, M.M. You gave my life a whole new meaning. And I'll always be grateful. Oh, I would love you. I would love you in this lifetime and the next. And I'll love you forever. But you must stop calling me your savior. You have to stop it. I mean, you're so fond of it. You know, I have rehearsed this moment so many times. But even as I stand before you, I can't find the right words, but I tell you this for certain, M.M. If you agree to take me as your husband, I am going to spend the rest of my days here on earth worshipping you, adoring you, loving you like my life depends on it. Because actually, it does. So I ask you, baby. Will you be my wife? <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! 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 <gasps> this is beautiful. Yeah, it is beautiful. I saved you, but no, you saved me. You made me believe true love is possible in this cruel and cold world. You gave me a new lease on this life. Ever be grateful to you. And I'm, I'm so ready. I'm, I'm ready to go on this journey of becoming your wife and you, my husband. I'm ready for this journey with you. A journey of absolute bliss. <laughs> on you, eh? We will break it. Stop it. Stop it, Catherine. Stop it. I really hoped you would be happy for me knowing how much I've suffered in the hands of men. Knowing how much I've suffered in their just for the sake of love. Well, I guess informing my best friend about my engagement is a big mistake. No. Amen. Amen. Accepting Rolex's ring is the mistake that you have committed here. Amen. That guy is the darkest human I have ever met. Darkest? Did you 
just say darkest? Rawless is the only man that has ever made me feel like a woman. He's the only man that has ever made me feel what true love really is. And you call him darkest? Really? In just three months. Three months. He walks into your life like a magician. Gives you the perfect vibes every single day and night. So now you think you found Mr. Perfect. Right? <sighs> <laughs> I want to ask you a question. And I need you to be very honest with your answer. Are you jealous? Excuse me. Answer the damn question. Are you jealous? Are you jealous that I'm going to get married to a hunk of a man or like you call him a perfect gentleman while you're here, lonely with no man? Are you jealous? You hurt me with your words, Amen. I'm not doing this with you again. Ah, oh, Amen. I'm done here. Eh, hey, leave. Go. I mean, I, 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 what, am I, what am I doing with a friend that, that doesn't want to support my happiness? Oh, you, you, you've, been, you've been happy. Seeing all these men break, break my heart. You don't want to be happy for me. This is, the, this is the first time I'm ever happy in a very long time. You want to discourage me. I won't let that happen. of your bed at this time of the night? I came out to get a glass of water and then I saw you here. And what are you doing here at this time of the night when you should be in your bed having your beauty sleep? Dada. You are the only family of Rolex I know. Though you are not exactly related by blood. But you've been with him since he was a child. True. And I've known you since I came into Rolex's life. And ever since then you've been like a father. I'm, I'm so sorry I'm sounding this way. But you know, I, I lost my father, my parents actually, five years ago. And with the whole battle with my aunties and uncles who are trying to rip me of my inheritance, you've been the only thing closest to a father to me. I am glad and honored that you see me in that light. You must also know that of all the women I have seen and met with my boss, you are the one good thing that has happened in his life because he's a good man and he deserves a good woman like you. So you... You think I'm making the right decision by agreeing to marry Rolex? Absolutely. 
because he loves you with all his mind, with all his life. I know because I have been with him since he was a child, almost all his life. Thank you, Dada. I just wanted to hear that one more time. I mean, people think I'm insane by accepting to marry a man I met barely three months ago. People would think what they like, people will say what they like. Because they don't understand you and they don't understand your feelings. Follow your heart and follow the man you love deeply. Because your happiness is all that matters. Alright? Thank you. It's okay. You must go and catch some sleep. <laughs> Let me go drink my water. All right. <laughs> What is going on here? Uh-oh. See who's awake. <laughs> Good morning, baby. Since when did Mr. Rillet start making breakfast? Oh, well, let's just say that I told Dada to, to sleep a bit more. So that way I get the chance to make breakfast for the most beautiful woman God ever created. My woman. My soon-to-be wife. Eh? You sure you made all this yourself? Absolutely, baby. I am the master chef. <laughs> Trust me, you are going to love it. Uh, come on. Let me have a test. <laughs> Grab a bite, let's see. Hmm. Love it. This is delicious. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> oh. I told you. Listen, after breakfast, I've got plans, right? I'm going to take you upstairs, take your clothes off, just lay you. Slow and easy, and the bath. Give you a very good massage and bath, you know what I mean? Huh? It's your day, baby. It's World MM Day, and I am going to pamper you until you yell for help. <laughs> <laughs> and your baby is ready for all the pampering and sugar she gets from the man of her dreams. I know, I know. Uh, I know. Uh, come on, let me get this um, to the dining room. Babe? Yes, ma'am. Um, I was, um, I've been trying to arrange for a proper photo shoot. A photo shoot? Yes, photo shoot. For? Um, I mean, since we don't have any picture of us together anywhere, I just yeah. thought we should. Hey, is mm -hmm. that a problem? Yeah, um... Is that a problem? For a shoot. Listen, honey. I... You know, I've been quite through a lot, you know, with... with the social media, you know, Every time that I, 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 I put my relationship out there, something terrible just happens. You know, and I don't want that to happen with us. I'm, I'm just, I'm just scared. What do you mean? Look, with my ex Stella, everything was going just fine. You know, we, 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 we were fine. 
we loved each other. You know, everything was just perfect Don't, un, until we put our relationship out there. You know, the moment it hits social media, how, you know how toxic the social media can get, right? You know, and things just went out of control and, you know, it continued that way until she rejected my proposal for marriage and eventually dumped me. You know the rest. I'm just scared. I'm, I'm, I'm just really worried. Listen to me, M.M. You mean a whole lot to me. And I don't want anything bad to happen. I can't even conceive the thought of losing you because definitely I am going to hurt myself if I lose you. It's okay. I mean, we, um, we don't have to do anything stupid that would jeopardize our relationship, so it's, it's fine. No photo shoot. What? Yeah. No, 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 no. Listen, I, I, I don't want this to be about me. It doesn't have to be about me. You want a photo shoot? I'll give you a photo shoot. No, 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 no photo shoot. You're sure? It's the best thing to oh, do. Baby, let's do it. No, no. I mean, it's it's the best thing to do. I mean, it's 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 right for us to not to put our relationship out there. I mean. We don't have to announce our wedding yet. We could do that after we get married. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. I love you. My goodness. I love you so much. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Oosh, you're getting me all emotional. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Stop picking on the... <laughs> Do you have something for me? Emem is engaged to the new man in our life. Do you think it is something that could lead to marriage? Um... I'm worried. I've never seen her this into anyone before. She acts like a woman in love. Katrin, your job was to stop her from falling in love. How did you let this happen? You cannot stop someone from falling in love. The human heart is not a machine that you can control with buttons. <laughs> Katrin. I am selling off everything I have to pay you to watch over me. Why are you making me feel you can't handle this simple tax for me? What do you want me to do now that she's engaged to be married? Talk her out of it. Talk her out of it. You told me she met this man just three months ago, right? Yes. Then why don't you just convince her that it would be risky for her to accept an engagement from a man she barely knows? I already did. But she brushed me off. Then you go back and talk to her. Go. Catherine, do not give me the impression that you can't handle this simple task because I will not hesitate to dispose of you. Get your bag and get out. She will be lying. I'm going to need you to keep an eye on her 24 7. Okay? Good. Hello, Rolex. What's this hold up all about? You promised to pay me for what I did for you. So why are you taking so long for you to send me my balance? All I want is my money. 
And if I don't get my money by the end of tomorrow, you have a surprise coming. Nonsense. Can you imagine? Now you can't keep the end of your own bargain. Is everything okay? You don't look too happy. That girl still is beginning to get me really angry. For the way she's constantly asking for money. I don't know what you think we should do about her. Do you think she's going to be a problem for us? I don't know, but I know that she's become a pain in my neck and I'm not going to lose my life. Or let anything happen to my daughter. Because of her. Alright. Don't worry about anything. I'm going to handle the situation. You will? Mm -hmm. I mean, we've been through a lot together. And uh, I cannot and will not allow things to fall apart just because of one random girl. Just go back to your room and relax. Dada will handle everything. Hmm. Sounds good to me. Hello, Stella. What's the meaning of this now? Eh, hey, Dada? First, you, you, you invited me to this, this dark corner, like a common criminal. Then you, you, you made me wait for so long. What is the meaning of all this? There's no need for the insults, Stella, or harsh words. I came here with your money. This is it. Please, please, please. Hand me the money. Every time, you pull like making someone feel like, like trash. Justin, we need to seal the deal with FRC Limited ASAP. Because I'm not about to let a 500 million era deal slip through my finger due to some bureaucratic bottleneck. Don't Understood? Don't, boss. I'm going to get the negotiating team to do this as quick as possible. Good. Get on it and give me feedback ASAP. Yes, ma'am. That'll be all. Boss, I'll be on my way to the office. Um, boss. Why will we come into the office? We have a ton of meeting and engagement needing your attention and... And what? Justin, what are, you, what are you trying to tell me? That I employed a ton of you in that office for, for nothing. So if I'm not around, if I'm not in the office, none of you are able to, you know, stand in my place and take care of deals? Is that what you're trying to tell me? No, ma'am. So what are you trying to say? I've already told you that I will not be available for any meeting so to be around the office due to some personal reasons. So do what you need to do and give me feedbacks. Okay, ma'am. Uh, that reminds me. You'll be cashing a check of 10 million naira for me. I'd need you to give it to the cashier. Tell him to transfer it into my account, okay? Okay. Let me get the... Check. I'm going my drink. I'm coming. It's going fine, madam. We are doing the best that we can, madam. You gave me this task knowing that it wasn't going to be easy. And all that I ask is that you give us more time. No, madam. 
madam, madam, no, 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 you are not going to threaten me like that. No, you are not going to say that to me. You're not going to threaten me. Nothing must happen to my daughter. You're not going to threaten me like that. I would give you everything that you ask I am going to deliver. Please do not threaten. Not when I'm doing everything that I can to make you happy. Don't forget that I'm doing all of this because of my daughter. And I hope that she is fine and she is still safe. My daughter is all that I've got. And if anything happens to her, if... Hello? Breakfast is ready. What's the matter? She called for progress report. Told her we needed more time and she threatened to kill my daughter if we do not deliver by the end of next week. By the end of the next week? What makes her think it's going to be as easy as that? I don't know how I got myself in this mess in the first place. I'm doing all that I'm doing. Because of Bianca. There is no telling what I'm going to do if anything happens to her. She's all that I have. Everything's going to be fine. We just need to... We just need to move our plans a step higher and faster. What is the situation with Stella? Have you taken care of her? Mm -hmm. So I should believe that she's not going to come back to me asking for more money. Let's just say you will never have cause to ever worry about her again. Ever again. That sounds good to me, Dada. Thank you for all that you do. Sometimes I ask myself what I could possibly do without you. Well, we have no other choice than to be there for each other. And together, we will definitely win this together. Your breakfast. Why didn't you call me before coming? I've never called you before coming here. Well, that's when I was sure you were my friend. Because right now I don't know exactly where to place you. Amen. I am still your friend. And I'll be your friend forever. I don't think so. my friend would support me when I told her about my engagement. Kay, this is really simple. True friends support each other through thick and thin and you did not do that. You didn't! I know. Can you please? Please. I love you so much. 
you and I have been friends for a very long time now. I cannot imagine my life without you in it. I'm happy you found love. I, I was only worried everything seems to be happening too fast. Oh, really? Well, maybe you should tell me the person that is measuring the speed of my love and peace. What did I gain from all those relationships I spent years and they ended up getting me burnt? What did I gain from them? I left those relationships broken. Tell me, what exactly did I gain from all of them? What you don't know is that in Rolex I find peace, I find love. Uh, MM, I, I didn't I didn't come here for us to have an argument. I came to let you know that. I am now ready to give you my support in your relationship with Rolex, 100%. I... Are you serious? time so you are officially welcome to the planning committee yes one month you know what just sit back here okay let me go get my wedding dress catalog i am coming just sit right there i'm coming I you have to choose for me i know you have pride for good Hmm. No way. One month. <sighs> I uh I need to go and get some food stuff for the house. That's all right. Oh, uh, don't you have some work to do? MM is not here. There is no point pretending to be a systems engineer. <laughs> All right, if you say so. Just ensure that you get what we need for the next level from her. You know, we could wrap this whole thing up in one week if you handle things right. I'll do the best that I can. All right. What time is she coming here today? Today. To be here. All right, just make sure you wrap her around your fingers when she gets here. Squeeze the juice out of her. If you want to save Bianca.
Hello, boss. I found where MM's lover lives. Katrin is with MM as we speak. For more, Katrin told us. I'm here to see MM's lover, but I'm definitely going to get his pictures and send to you. Yes, sir. Okay. This is really good. Uh -huh. You know, this is my best cake plug. And I know you love cakes. <laughs> Not more than you. <laughs> so, oh, really? <laughs> so I'm the cake queen. Uh -huh. <laughs> you almost finished it. <laughs> you know what? Mm. I am really happy with the kind of life I'm living right now. I mean, I never thought I'd be in this kind of situation with any man ever. I never really thought about it. What are you talking about? You know... Just uh, the thought of it is about to get me emotional. But... You know how much I suffered at the hands of men? Of all the men I gave my heart and soul and literally everything to. Yes. At some point, I, I actually thought I was the problem. I thought I had an issue. I thought true love wasn't for me. I thought I wasn't meant to enjoy true love at all. But then Rolex came and changed everything. <laughs> and you know what I am grateful to God for every single day of my life? Literally every day of my life, I'm grateful to God for this. No, what? What could that be? <laughs> <laughs> I know this is going to sound really stupid, but I'm really grateful to God for all the women that jilted Rolex, mm -hmm. especially his ex. I am really thankful for how she, you know, dumped him. Because if that didn't happen, I wouldn't have met my sweet sugar bunny Rolex. And I wouldn't be enjoying this kind of love and sweetness and sugar I am enjoying from my sweetheart right now. It would never have been possible. It would never have been. <laughs> I am so happy for you. Thank I'm you. happy you finally found the one. Thank See, you. as a matter of fact, I tap into your blessing. Amen! May I and every good girl out there find our own Rolex. Amen. 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 <laughs> amen and amen. amen. <laughs> what could I be? I don't know. Come in. Hello. Amen. I don't know why I agreed to this deal with you this way. I have served you faithfully all my life. I brought this deal to you and decided to use my own means and method to get the deal done at great risk to me and my family. If you cannot trust me in spite of everything I've done for you, then I'm sorry. I don't know what else to say or do. You have till the end of next week to get me my juice or terrible things will start to happen to you, Rolex, and Bianca. That is a promise. The deal will be concluded before the end of <laughs> next week. That is a promise. <laughs> Remember, 
that waitress that spilled drink on Emil's shirt. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It wasn't even funny to her at all. <laughs> <laughs> You've been drinking a lot of this stuff. What do you want? What are you doing here? Excuse me. Harry, don't act like you didn't hear what I said. You dumped me three years ago. And you just walked back into my city room like nothing happened. I came to see you, just to see you. Oh, really? Why? What happened? Amen. I missed you. Oh. Wow. It, <laughs> wow. You missed me. Yeah. <sighs> Henry. When you left me three years ago. I was in so much pain. I felt so heartbroken. That I almost took my life well. Thank God I didn't. And now you just walked into my apartment. <laughs> you just walked into my apartment to tell me that you miss me? <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Hello. I'm not proud. Mm. No, I'm not. I know I messed up with you back in the days. Mm. <sighs> I lost sight of the fact that you were very good woman to me. And so I went looking for love somewhere else from someone else. Mm. Recently I've come to the realization how plainly stupid I was. And then you were, as a matter of fact, you still the older woman. That's kind of looking in my heart, whatever I deserve. What are you, what are you trying to say? <sighs> and when I came here today to check if you still live here. And seeing you has been so happy. Very happy. I wasn't expecting all this question and interrogation from you. Henry. You have seen me. Yes. I still live here. Yes, I'm fine. Yes, I'm alive. Yes, I'm still beautiful. Yes, I am still that girl. So please, if you are done with why you are here, Kindly use the door. Okay. Amen. It was really, really beautiful seeing you today. I wish you the best of the rest of your day. Thank you. Gotcha. Gotcha.
what is the matter? Where is M.M.? She hasn't been here today. I thought you said she would be here around 2 p.m. What same, happened? Same thing she told me. But she hasn't called me yet. You should be worried. You know, we have to keep her within sight all the time. Yes, we should be worried. But remember that I cannot come across as desperate. Remember, the only reason I have been able to get this close to Emma is because she sees me differently. Different from other men to have shown themselves to only be interested in her because of her inheritance. I need to be careful. Dada. We don't have much time, Rolex. You have to get her to hand over what the boss lady wants as quickly as possible. Now what if she's not able to bring what the boss lady wants? What then happens? Bianca dies. Is that what you want? Girl, I gotta go. Amy, 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 hold on. What? I know you have a right to be angry with Henry. But treating him the way you did is not proper at all. Catherine. You don't get to tell me how to treat a man that broke my heart. That made me go through so much pain. You don't get to tell me how to treat him. Calm down. Take it easy. Look. I know how much you loved this man. I know how much you were you were hot when he left you. Shouldn't that be enough reason for you to at least hear him out? No. These things you just highlighted right now are more than enough reason why I should slap his face to pieces for ever trying to contact me again. So you're not going to listen to him at all? No. A man doesn't just crawl out of the blues to reconnect with a lady he left for three years without a real cause. Amen. Well, I have a man now. Oh. And not just any man. A man I love. A man that loves me right back. And guess what? I am going to get married to that man. I don't need people like Henry coming back into my life ever again. I don't! So you're going to marry Relax, like for real, for real? For real? Oh, wait. You still think I'm joking about all of this? You really think I'm joking about this? Catherine. I am going to get married to Rolex. Do you know why? Because I love that man. Huh. I love him more than life itself. And I will marry him even if it's the last thing I do.
Rolex, talk to me. What is going on with you? Asked me to do. It's not my fault I've been being fault for it. It is not over, Harry. I need you to get him back into your arms as quickly as possible. As quickly as possible? Oh, come on, Catherine. Maybe it's not a pet that will just drop on anything I ask her to do. I know you can do this. As a matter of fact, I know you are the only man that can turn her heart away from this man she's engaged to. Come and think about it. Why don't you want to remember this man? Because I know he's not good for her. And as a best friend, it is my duty to protect her from getting hurt. See. So what gives you the impression the best person for this job? I have seen him in with several guys. But I can tell you he was the only one that she was really into. I know she loved you. She really did love you. How do you know this? By the way she was hot after you left her. Mm -hmm. So are you telling me that Edmund doesn't love this particular man she is with right now? I'm not saying that. As a matter of fact, I think Edmund is really into this man. He's so smooth and so perfect. No man is ever that perfect when dating a woman. That and the fact that she's too in love with this man is what is wrong with this whole thing. I understand. I got your point. Well, let's say it goes, I, I'll give it a try here. Good.
my god! Hi, babe! You're out. Um, I actually wanted to make breakfast for my man myself, but Dada here has been cracking me up. I've literally been in stitches all along. Good morning, sir. <laughs> Good morning. I was actually looking for you. Here I am. Mm-hmm. What are you making? Plantain? Uh, yeah, plantain and egg. I know it's your favorite. Yes, my absolute favorite. <laughs> um, so why don't you go back upstairs, go freshen up. When I and Dada are done with the food, you can come back downstairs. How about that? Sounds good to me. <laughs> All right, babe. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Yo, hello. Katrin. Yo, hello, can you hear me? Uh, I just got to Ibrahim's apartment now, and she's not home. And also with the look of things, he doesn't seem like he spends the night here. Yeah. So what do I do now? Time for breakfast. Sit. Sit. Come. Sit. Um, Dada. Um, I would want you to have breakfast with us. Please sit. Um, so there is something I want to share. And as the only person close to a family that I know around Rolex, I would want you to hear it too. Um, um, sweetheart, um, I'm not um, sure that Dada would like to sit at the same table. You know, uh, as me, I, so please, I, Forgive him if he's a bit um, hesitant to, to comply. Uh, I'm not sure he'll be quite comfortable to do that. Baby. Yes. Dada. You have to start getting used to that. Because as soon as we get married, Dada will not have to wait on anyone. He will become a proper family member. And he will not have to work for you or anyone for the rest of his life. So, Dada, sit. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, gentlemen, um, there's something I would like to share. <sighs> Baby. <sighs> I want you to know that you make me the happiest woman alive. And I'll forever be grateful to God for that. Um, Rolex, I love you. I love you so much. I, I literally cannot wait for us to get married. So, because I cannot wait, I would want us to get married as quickly as possible. Say, in a month's time, 
It could be now, it could be today, it could be the next minute. I just... I just want to be married to you. Please, my love. You must let me take charge of everything. Please, you must let me do that. Please. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Okay, um, it's time for breakfast. Let's go get breakfast. I need money. What for? I have gotten someone that will enjoy me and does not marry this new man she's involved with. He is also someone that can be useful to us in some areas, if needed. Useful? Why do you think so? Well, he's going through some hard times and needs money to pass by. Do you know what they say? A hungry man can do anything once the hunger bites more than he can control. You know, I, I've actually been thinking about hiring a man to undo some tax for me. You know, I've been doing some thinking and I've come to realize that it appears that being too subtle and gentle with MM, it is time to take um, things up a notch, okay? It is time to finally tear her apart from that man she's engaged to. Um, I'm going to need this man you're talking about. I'm going to need him to handle some tasks for me. Some very dangerous task, So that at the end of the day, I get what I want. Of course, with you coordinating. I am glad you're now ready to do what must be done. Let's end this as quickly as possible. Yes. That's all that matters to yes. me. Yes. It's time to end this. If you don't mind me asking, who's that lady? Audrey, why don't you put your nose where it won't get burnt? Stay focused, Catherine. No, 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 I'm going to miss you. I know, I know you'll miss me. I know you're missing me already. Oh, babe. Don't go. I have to go. You don't have to. I have to. I have to. There's this very important business meeting I need to attend to. After which I'll come back and spend the week with you. I mean the whole week. That is if you want me to. Are you trying to break me? No, not. Because you know that I like the sound of that. <laughs> the entire week with me. Yeah? Sounds good to me, wifey. So I guess I'll see you tomorrow then. Mm. Yes. I love the sound of that. <laughs> Husband man. Right. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Alright. Bye. Bye. Everything is now working out in our favor. I'm not going tomorrow. <clears throat> no problem. You don't have to marry her. You can still get what the boss lady wants without marrying her. Especially now that she has fallen head over heels in love with you.
Tell the boss lady. That I want to meet her before the end of today. Are you mad? Are you crazy? I'm not mad, Dada. You need to stop talking to me like I'm a child. I want to see the woman who's done my life upside down for the past two years. And what makes you think that I know how to get in touch with this lady? You know she always calls us whenever she deems fit. Dada, you know! You know how to get in touch. Tell her. And if I do not see her, by the end of today, I will go to the police. Why? Because the deal will be off. And if she tries to hurt Bianca, Dada, how will it lose? I don't care. I don't care if I lose my life. Tell her that I am serious. Fire on the mountain. <laughs> Until you're really serious. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm so sorry. Um, how are my nieces and nephews? How are they doing? They are all doing good. <laughs> and you're looking quite good yourself. Thank you. Mm. A happy woman. <laughs> Always looks good. Ah, <laughs> you can say that again. You asked me over and you sounded quite excited on phone. Yes, I did. Um, and see, I, um, I actually have something very important to discuss with you. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Thank you. Who is the blessed man? Tell me everything about him. Okay. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about him. Okay. Firstly, his name is Rolex. And he loves me so much. Aww. I can I mean whenever he talks to me, whenever he touches me, whenever we are together, I feel the love. He makes me feel so loved. I am just so lucky to have him in my life. Sometimes <laughs> Yes, come in. Hello. Good evening. How may I help you? My name is Henry and I'm here to see you, ma'am. Ma'am. Ma yes, please. Ma'am does not live here. Uh, oh, I don't. But she specifically told me I can always find her in her brother's place. That's here. Whenever I can get her home. Her brother's place. Uh, I'm confused here. Um, your Rolex, Ma'am's brother. Right? It's really nice to meet you. Young man, who exactly are you and what do you want? I, I told you. My name is Henry. Okay. I'm a man's boyfriend. Yes. And we've been dating for about Two, two months. Yes, two months now. And she told me my brother lives here. I wouldn't know you lived here. And so I'm here to see her and then maybe see you in the process.
Yeah, I can't treat myself. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I did what you asked of me. You needed to see his face when I told him I was a man's boyfriend. He almost had a heart, heart attack. Really? Are you sure you want me to mount some more pressure on them? I mean, a man and a boyfriend. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, all right, all right, no problem. How could you do this to me, ma'am? How could you? You make me fall in love with you while you're constantly cheating on me in just one month of our relationship. Wow. Wow. I thought I was the one scamming you here, M.M. I thought I was the master of the game. I did not know that I was being played from the start. <clears throat> ah, Rolex, you're foolish. You are foolish. You promised yourself never to fall in love with a woman again. But then you let your stupid heart go. yourself fall in love with a woman after the treasury they have committed against you how ah, Rolex what is wrong with you what Rolex do you want to destroy us you want us to lose our lives because you allowed yourself to stupidly fall in love with a woman we're planning to milk What's the matter with you? I'm ready to be okay, man. Of every single saint. Tony. Our blood is back on with immediate effect. Get to work. What happened? Rolex, listen, what is going on? Not long ago, you said you were no longer interested in carrying on with the operation. And now, from out of the blue, you declared that we are back on course. Is this some sort of game to you? Have I ever failed you as a son? Don't, Rolex, don't call me that. I mean, someone could hear you and that would be the end of everything for both of us. It's just the both of us here, Dad. I'm tired of how you carry on wanting us to act like we're not related even when it's just the both of us here. Listen, that is because everything we do depends on how well we hide the fact that I'm your father from the eyes of the world. Hmm. Do you know what would happen to us if boss lady were to find out that we're related in any way? Not to talk of knowing that I'm your biological father. Are you really think that I care?
Hello, Auntie. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. How are you? <laughs> That's good. Um, Auntie, have you been able to speak with un Uncle Oba? Yes, I... I just want to know if he's at peace with me now. You know, I, I really cannot afford to, you know, have problems with him, especially now that I want to have a wedding. You know, he's the only surviving uncle from my father's house. Have you, have you spoken to him? Ah, thank you so much, Auntie. Thank you so much. This means a lot to me. Like, I am so happy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Thanks. Uh-uh, auntie. Don't worry. I'm going to call my fiancé to see you before the wedding. <laughs> that's, 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 that's for sure. <laughs> All right. Auntie, um, I'm really sorry that, you know, everything seemed a bit rushed. But like I told you, he's the man I love. And I want to spend the rest of my life with him. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I knew I could always count on you. <laughs> All right. Bye bye, Auntie. <laughs> Love you. All right. <laughs> bye. Bye. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. Everything is just going as planned. My family is just... My family is going to be right behind me during my wedding. <laughs> oh my God. I'm so happy. <laughs> Come in. Good evening, Oba. You are still drinking this, your local gin? I still have some in my wardrobe in case you are thirsty. I want to have some with me. May I sit? <laughs> Caro, my bed is not as soft or cozy as any of the sofas in your mansion. So who am I to tell you whether to sit or not to sit? <clears throat> Um, Ogba. Emen was at my place earlier today. She's getting married within the month. Then... She wants you and I to come represent her parents. <laughs> Life is funny, you know? A girl that has refused to give me one call out of everything her father left for her is now asking that I, Ogba, be the man to give her out in marriage. <laughs> Life is indeed the cruise, you know? <laughs> Ogba, listen. Her father was your only brother. Well, yes. He left behind a word will. But you need to let this issue slide. We all need to move on. So easy for you to say, Carol. So easy for you to say. You were not plunged into poverty like I was when my brother died suddenly. He was my benefactor. And I depended on him for everything. Carol, not only did my brother will everything he owned to his only daughter, he also inserted a clause in his will that if M.M. should die, if M.M. should die, everything should go to charity. Does that why? Why? Everything, Carol, everything. But 
Caro, this, of... this conversation is over. There's absolutely no need for it. I hate her, ma'am. And I'm going to hate her till my dying hour, my dying minutes. And is going to pay for all the pains I am going through today. She's going to pay. I haven't spoken to my man in hours. Mm -mm. I'm calling before I go nuts. <laughs> He's ashed in my heart. <sighs> Hello, babe. Who are you? How did you... How did you get into my house? Who are you? Amen. Amen. Hello? H Hello? Amen. Can, can you... What do you mean I trouble? She's in trouble. She, 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 she called me on the phone. Uh -huh. You know, she, she called me. You know, uh, uh, we're talking. You know, just, just halfway into our conversation, she, she, she screamed and screamed again, and, and, and the, the line went off. Now I've been trying to call back, but that phone is switched off. All right, just calm down. This could mean a thousand different things. I mean, she would have fallen on the staircase. She could have burned something in the kitchen and screamed. No, 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 no. I know what I heard. I, I, I know what I heard. She screamed. No, she screamed for help. Help! Like, like she's... I, I know what I heard. Dada. She needs help. Um, what is... What is going on? Dada? Wait, 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 wait where are you going? Don't you Fool. He still loves her. Sir, I think we may have a problem. Imim has been kidnapped. Did you find her? What exactly did you say to your boss lady? I made her decide to kidnap M.M. What nonsense are you talking about here? Don't try to patronize me. Do not try to even act like you don't know what I'm talking about. M.M. Has been kidnapped. And you and I know that the only person who can make that kind of arrangement and make it happen to be your boss lady. I want answers. Why would I want to have anything to do with kidnapping a man? I don't know, Dad. Tell me. Stop calling me that before you destroy everything for us. What's wrong with you, boy? Your boss lady had no problem. Kidnapping. 
my nine-year-old daughter. Bianca. All because she wanted to rope me into this very dirty act of defrauding a man. That woman has my child in her hands while I am here living a life of crime. Your boss ladies are the same too. Your boss lady is nothing but even close to an innocent chair. You may have a point. Oh, I do. Of course I do. I have a point. The boss lady might have a hand in the kidnapping of a man. Why? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. But at least you're beginning to agree with me. Dad, we need to find a man. She needs us. She needs help. We need to find her and help her. Because you love her? Oh, yes. Because I still love her. I thought I'd be able to push the love that I have for her aside and do the need for. But the moment I found out that she was in trouble, it was as if something tore through my heart. And at that moment, I realized that I'd never be able to to love this woman. Oh yes, I'm still in love with her, man. Then we have to look for her. We have to go and see the boss lady and find out why she kidnapped her. Mm. And that way I finally get to put her face <sighs> to this boss lady. Well, before we go, I need a strong drink. I have a feeling it is going to be a very long, long night. From all indications, Father, I'll ask that you fix me a drink too. All right. I 
told you I don't have anything at all. Chief, please, just, just help me. Ogba! Ogba, there's fire on the mountain, no? Hey! Serious fire! Fire on the mountain? What, what, what are you talking about? I received a call about an hour ago. From some kidnappers. Say they kidnap a man. And they are requesting for 200 million as ransom. Sorry, did you just say 200 million naira? Yes! Are they crazy or what? What, 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 what? I don't understand. What's going on? My question is, can MM afford such amount? Well, with with everything my brother wills to add, the properties and everything, 200 million is chicken change. You can raise that and, and a whole lot more. You know, I was actually planning on how I was going to get my own share of my late brother's properties. But I was <laughs> never as greedy as thinking about getting as much as 200 million. What's going on? This is serious trouble. What do we do now? You know what? I hate MM. I hate her with every fiber in me. But I don't hate my brother because he was good to me. The only problem I have with my brother is the way he excluded me from his, uh, his will. Don't understand? Uh, uh, you know, right now, right now, I think we need to go to the police. Oh, yes. Because they could be the only people that could help us in this issue right yes. now. Okay, so just just give me just give me a minute. Let me get something for my wardrobe okay. so that we can leave. Okay, me, okay, me okay. Hi. Let's let's go to let's go to the police and, and get policemen to 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 to, to, to help uh, this girl uh, 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 MM. What's let's Carol? Let's go to Carol. What? What's up? You called me out of dinner. What's going on? How would you like to be a millionaire? Excuse me. How would you like to make three million naira for tonight's work? <laughs> Wait. Catherine, I hope you didn't call me out to play games with me tonight because if you did. I am not playing games with you, Henry. How would you like to earn three million naira? Answer my question and stop wasting my time. Anything! I'll do anything! I'll, I'll do anything for three million naira. What, what am I killing tonight? <laughs> Sudhat. You're not eating your food, why? I'm not hungry, Daddy. <sighs> Don't say that. Uh, I, I put in a lot of work making this food. You, you love it. It's, it's jollof rice and fried chicken. You know, it's really, really tasty. I make sure that the salt and the pepper is not too much. You love it. Trust me. I want to go ahead and eat. Should I bring it for you? I want one. I just want my mother. It's okay, so that. 
I want you to know that I want mommy to. But you see, mommy is not here with us. It's just you and I here. Because you and I are all that we have and we have to take care of each other. And that is why I made you this food. Because I have to take care of you. And mommy, mommy will be very happy if she knows that I'm taking care of you. And you're also taking care of me. And then you're eating your food. So please, my love, I beg you, please eat. Okay, daddy. I'll bring it for you. I'll be here with you, don't worry. Get ice cream now. Uh, 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 uh. Ice cream? You know what? Just, 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 just go to my room and wait for me. All right. I'll buy you ice cream later. Just go, 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 go. go. I see some men here just hovering around and watching me, watching this house, watching Bianca. I'm worried. Why are they watching this? Why are they watching us? Dad. Did you hear what I said? I said that I saw some men watching us, watching myself and Bianca, they were watching this house. They, they, they look funny, you know. They could be kidnappers, I don't know. I don't. Oh my God. I know the 
Yes, look at that. What have you done? What have you done, Dad? Are you the reason? Those men are here. Me, Dad, what is going on? I'm sorry, son. I'm very sorry. Please forgive me. Let me go. Dad, help me. No, 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 no. No. Dad! That was you! Who are those people? What, what, what's going on? Dad, you just can't stand there and say nothing. What is going on? Dad, what, what, what? Who are those men? Dad, I have just taken my daughter and talked to me. Dad, what is going on? Who are those people, Dad? Say something! I spent in putting this deal together hmm. and when I'm about whipping my cream off my wine you people allowed my fish to disappear Dada do you know what that means? No boss lady I'll tell you. In the next 24 hours, if I don't see MM, hmm, consider you, your son, and your granddaughter dead. How did he offer to pay me three million naira to handle any wherever she kept her? But I knew you would pay me more than that. If I brought her to you. Henry! I always knew you were a good asset. The moment Catherine introduced you to Olga to hire you. You, you did something to me. What is going on? Shut up, young lady. Listen to me and listen real good because I am not in a very good mood this night. I know everything about you and Ogba from the moment he hired you. So don't try playing games with me unless you don't want to see the light of tomorrow. So this is where you decide to pitch your tent and betray me. I brought you into this deal and you pushed me into the gutters. Hey, hold it there. I made a choice. Yes, I did. I went for the bigger fish. You won't blame me for that. Enough. Where is MM? Because I know you have her. So don't try to patronize me in any way. Oh! Jeez! Oh! Oh, Jesus, 
at me again. Please don't slap me again. Now we talk. Now we talk. Now we talk. My heart me, my heart me snatched. I get in an apartment. Oh, please don't kill me. Please. Which apartment? Do I know you will not kill me after I tell you where she is? If you don't tell me, I will kill you. Young lady, do not mess with me. I kept her in a room in my uncle's apartment. He's not around, so I decided to use his house. I'm sorry, please. Pat Ray, I am losing my patience. Give me the address. Number three, number close. Lucky. I want to get everything M.M. has. Because her father, my own brother, refused to give me any of his inheritance. Not even a share from his estate. So no one except me will get everything. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I took him away from you. Amy and I have been friends for a very long time, but she doesn't take care of me. I'm friends with the richest girl in this state, yet I don't even own a car. I stay in a one-room apartment. I use cab everywhere I go to. And yet, she's willing to give everything to Rolex here. Rolex? What are you saying? <laughs> yes, she told me herself. And that was the main reason I kidnapped her. Because that's the only way I can get money from her. I'm sorry, please don't kill me. Please. Nobody except me will get everything Emin has. <laughs> Go get your share in hell. <laughs> please don't kill me. Hey, what are you just looking at? Go get him! Kill him if you have to! Okay. <laughs> You, you, you have a space in hell. of this child. I have given everything a careful thought. And I realized that this child is innocent. She's not a part of the evil. Does she love a trust? I've committed. So if I'm going to be angry and mad at anyone, she won't be a part of it. Thank you so much, Emma. Thank you for being here. Hot. Do not mention the name of God in anything you say or do. So think that you 
your father. Dada. The same person who pretended to be your cleaner and, and your cook. My uncle. And my father's aunt. You all plotted to kill me to take my inheritance. Even my best friend, Catherine. Alex, I would have been dead by now. I would have been dead if not for my uncle's work as silver that, that, that called the police to, to rescue me, to save me. I would have been dead. What did I do to you? What did, I, what did I do to all of you? What crime did I, did I, did I, did I come to all of you? What did I do to all of you? No. <laughs> You're just an innocent victim of a messed up situation. Please. You're entirely innocent. Please. I'm sorry. I... I grew up as a young boy who... who lived in his father's shadows, wanting to be like his father, admire his father, my father. Dada. my first role model in life. I wanted to think like him, be like him, walk like him. But his life turned around the moment my mother died of cancer. He got frustrated, got into drinking, smoking and gambling, got into the wrong hands and and fell into the hands of a woman who calls herself boss lady, who set her up and told her that he has to, to provide a certain amount of money. And if he refuses, not only will he be killed, I will be killed. My daughter, will be killed. <laughs> I already lost my, my mom. I didn't want to lose my father. I had to stand by him. I was caught between saving my father's life, saving my life and saving my daughter's life. not done right by you. I am sorry. But Bianca's mother died. Our child death. I'm all that she has. And after she was kidnapped, I didn't know what else to do. I, I, I just had to work with the boss lady. And then you happened. Please put yourself in my shoes. Will you let your own daughter die? She's my life. She is the source of my light. And then please believe me, when I told you that I love you, I did not lie to you. I did not plan to fall in love with you, but I did. And I am grateful that I did. And then because your heart is gold, with you, everything is brand new and fresh. But I have hurt you. Please, forgive me. If you tell me that you hate me right now, I will understand, but please, don't hate my child. 
Emran, please. 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 Please, Emran. I know it's hard. But please. I want to hate you. I really, really want to hate you. I am trying so hard to hate you. God knows I'm trying. But I can't. Please. My heart can't beat without you. Even look at you. I love you. I love you so much. And I am going to love you forever. That's a promise. I'm sorry, baby. Please. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Okay. Please visit my new mother. 